pimping, baby. Spin pimping, What's up, everybody? It's your boy K Ray back at you again. What I'm going to do today is prepare some um, a barbecue style fajitas using um, this pork butt, Boston butt that I cooked a couple of days ago uh, for slice. So I'm gonna just slice it up, um, the rest of it up, and do it um, as some fajitas. So what I need to do uh, to get this started, I got some, some tricolor bell peppers, uh, red, yellow, and orange. Got green bell pepper. Got uh, some jalapenos, onions jalapenos and onions got some white corn tortillas some sweet and spicy chipotle barbecue sauce some minced garlic olive oil and uh k-ray's rub the versatile rub that you can use on pretty much anything and still tastes good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna um slice the meat up you know, just like fajita meat, slice up the vegetables and everything, and uh, saute, saute those up, add everything together, and uh, have us some uh, barbecue pork style fajitas. So let me get started on that. I'll be back in a couple of minutes later. All right, everybody, I'm back. And um, just gonna get rid of the slice this pork butt up. What I've done, I already cut it like into individual pieces. As you can see right there, like five individual pieces. Two, three, four, five. So all I'm gonna do is just start slicing it. Nice little slices, like so. Have some real nice pieces of meat to eat. In the fajitas. Right, there you go. Just that simple. Knock out the rest of these pieces. All right, everybody, I'm back. Got all my veggies ready um, to be cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use like a half of each one of the, the colored bell peppers. I'm gonna use a whole green one, uh, one and a half onions, and three jalapenos. So let me get cracking. All right, everybody, I am back. Got about, I would say about three tablespoons of olive oil in here. Already heating up, put the veggies in. See what we come up with. Excuse 
Hit it with a little rub, a little season on the veggies. Then I'm just let these run. Um, they about 75 percent ready. I'm not trying to get them uh, caramelized or anything like that. I still want them to have uh, be a little bit, little, little flexible, little crunchy. That's the way I like mine. I don't like mine caramelized. What I'm going to do, let these bad boys cook down, then I add the meat to it. Actually, I just add my minced garlic toward the end, so it'll still have a nice, a good robust flavor of the minced garlic at the end. And maybe add a little bit more season to it as well. So, let these go. All right, now it's time for the garlic. You put it in two tablespoons. Stir that in a little bit. That nice aroma from the garlic and these peppers. Oh man, don't get no better than this right here. Add my meat. Right on top of the meat, I'm gonna add a little, little Texas style simple rub on here. Coarse ground, a black pepper, coarse ground, kosher salt. Give a little extra flavor to it. Add about a quarter a cup of water to it. Add your barbecue sauce. a little water to the barbecue sauce, thin it up a little bit. Rub everything in. Mix everything in real well, I mean.
think I'm gonna add a little bit more sauce to that. Got a little spicy honey to go along with that. Add in a little bit more. Mix everything in well. good to go so at this point what I'm gonna do is just cut the fire down to simmer put the top on it and let it roll for about 15 20 minutes I get back at you then later all right everybody I am back and I am done take a look at that man I wish this was smell of vision smells so so good so what I'm going to do, I just, well, what I just did, I just let it simmer for about 15, 12, about 12 and a half minutes. And uh, I just cut the fire off of it. So what I'm going to do is just put the lid back on it, let it sit and rest for about 30 minutes. And I will make a couple of those bad boys up and uh, let y'all check it out. All right. Later. All right, everybody. I am back and I am all done. And this is my finished product. So what I did was just use a, I just used two a white corn tortillas per fajita. Added a little cheese to it, some uh, mild cheddar jack. And uh, I just garnished mine off top with some pickles. So, you know, I think it's a pretty nice looking dish for some leftover. Uh, barbecue so it's gonna be my lunch right here bite off into one of them and see what we got see what we're working with mmm real good meat still taste the smoke on the meat sauce veggies everything hitting bunch of levels of flavor now so appreciate everybody stopping by checking me out let me know if you like it give me a comment I would appreciate it and uh, if you subscribe I definitely would appreciate that as well so it's K Ray K Ray's Q Texas style barbecue southern cooking I'll catch y'all on the next go-round. Later.